So when you are seeing all this UAP disclosure talk mm -hmm. and all this stuff, yeah. what, what is your take on this stuff? So uh, I've, I've talked to people, uh, Ryan Graves, who you've had on. I've, I've talked to, I actually did a podcast with his wingman, one of his uh, former Navy pilot wingmen. I listened friend. to it. Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks. Um, it's very good. Yeah. I shouldn't have said discussion. thanks before you said it was good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> it was very good. <laughs> Thank it was you. very, very interesting. I appreciate it. I'll put that, uh, put that on my resume. Uh, so they, um, so we talked and, and remember earlier like two hours ago I was going to ask you for advice and I just I'm such a blabbermouth I didn't get to ask you for advice as a podcaster yes. the advice I want to ask you is when you're talking to somebody and for one reason or another maybe it's your past history maybe it's research that you've done independently that even an expert hasn't done and you're thinking this person's wrong yeah. or this person's making a mistake has that ever happened to you and if so how do you deal with that as a podcaster uh, it's complicated. I mean, uh, I always do uh, or try to do my very best to let someone express himself fully before I interject. Um, and but there are some times we have to say that's not true. Mm -hmm. That this is not what you're saying has been disproven, and this is a like we should show how it's been disproven. Or you know, you could be talking about something that I I'm an expert in. Mm -hmm. Like if someone wants to bring someone wants to like from UFC for example, yeah, exactly. somebody wants to say, you know, there's only if you wanted to fight in the UFC, all you need to do is learn kung fu. If someone said that, and mm -hmm. I'd be like, well, you're out of your mind. Or it's as fake like, as wrestling, right? Yeah. You could say you're totally full. Well, that's someone that's delusional. But, I mean, <laughs> I mean anybody who watches the fights, they no, know they're real. Know, but, but seeing – but if someone had, like, this very distorted perspective – on something that I know a lot about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I would be like, that. you shouldn't say that because so, that's this is why that's not accurate. So I'm talking to Ryan Graves, and I've talked to um, Lieutenant um, Ann Dietrich, who is the wing woman, I guess you'd say, of uh, Commander David Fravor, who you've had on. Um, I've talked to them, and I've talked to them Okay, look, I'm a pilot. I fly little Cessnas around. It's not going to mm -hmm. be like, you know, I'm talking to Super Hornet pilots, so I'm like a schmuck, right? But you know, when you see things like I'm told, like, I can't question them because I didn't serve in the military or they have great hand eye coordination or they're trained observers. I actually know my flight instructor told me a couple of things. He, he said to me, he said, you relying on hand eye coordination or you relying on your innate abilities as a pilot or your, uh, you know, your ability to perceive things is going to get you killed. Because And he wasn't like some military pilot. I don't know my stepfather was, but but the point being. You're trained not. You're trained to ignore your senses and pay attention to your instruments. Therefore, right. the human factor is irrelevant. Like the fact that he can land on an F-18 on a carrier at night in the middle of a typhoon doesn't mm -hmm. have anything to do with the fact that like he is not necessarily better at judging evidence versus me as a scientist or even as a layperson. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're talking, and then I hear things like, well, he witnessed this, or he saw this, or mm -hmm. he has data about this. And by the way, he's been to my house. I've had him for Shabbat dinner. <laughs> you know, and I like Ryan a lot, and I like Andy Dietrich, and, and Fravor sounds really great. Um, when you hear them say things, and then they will say things like you and Eric talked about, okay? They're defying the laws of physics, or these things cannot occur within what we understand about physics. Right. They're not physicists, and I'm not a pilot, okay? But we can use our, our various skills. When I see things like, he saw this. No, he didn't see it. He didn't claim to see it. And even in your Ryan interview, Graves did. Ryan Graves did not see anything no. with his eyes. He saw things on radar with a system that was newly upgraded in the Super Hornet Mark D that he was flying, mm -hmm. okay? Recently upgraded. Yeah. Uh, doesn't mean it didn't happen. Uh, Fravor and uh, Dietrich. When they were flying, they uh, you know saw things and they tried to perceive them from great altitude, something the size of a school bus, you know, and how fast it was moving relative to the ground. Okay, then there's data. Then there's things from the Princeton. So I've looked into these things. I know the limitations. I know an awful lot about radio technology, radar mm -hmm. sensing. Um, uh, so I don't think that being a military pilot, as much as I don't have the balls to do what any of them do, and I never had the guts to sign up to the military, though I might have liked to, um, doesn't mean that we accept what they what they say uncritically. And in Ryan's case, I find it unpersuasive. I don't mean to say that it's not important. It's very important, it's very significant what he's doing. Because I think at best, at, at worst rather, it could save the lives of pilots, 